So I got a basic understanding of what went down with Nostaku and Feet Jojo back. When was this? Like two years ago? Like where there was the hacker and uh, for the auditions, and a hacker contacted people, and he also tried to hack Noxtaku or what, or a doxer or something, something, I don't know. As said, I have a very, very, very basic understanding on this. It was in 2021, so three years ago now, oh, wow. Um, I'm really happy Rima made a video on this, because I love Rima's videos. I love her videos. She's been making videos for a year now. It was her one year anniversary just a couple days back, by the way, if you guys didn't know. It's amazing. And she's partnered with Mephic now. I'm so happy for her because she's making fire content. She has been making fire content. Honestly, all deserved. Rima, if you ever see this, congratulations. I love your content. It's just dumb bad for Rima. I mean, I do love horses. I mean, foxes. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, without further ado, shall we uh, watch the Nux Talk vs. V. Chojo saga? The VTuber community, a vibrant and often chaotic space, is no stranger to drama. But few that controversies have left audiences feeling as dissatisfied as the one involving V. Chojo and Nux Taku. This complex so saga heard, fueled so by heard. miscommunication, misunderstandings, and... There were so many people involved already. What the fuck, man? How did place. this, like, how did this completely fly over my radar back then? I had no idea this shit went down back then. None. This complex saga fueled by miscommunication, misunderstandings, and a misplaced sense of trust exposed deep rifts within the VTuber community and raised critical questions about transparency. See, accountability, and the delicate balance of power between creators and their audiences. The story begins with Vishojo, a popular independent VTuber agency. And Before we get further into this, I also just want to say, from what I know, Nux and Vishojo bo both have moved on from the this. They are all on good terms now. Everything is final. This is just... This is not bringing up drama again. This is just a historical... Yeah, historical. Just a summary of what happened. A documentary, if you so will, on what happened. So, this is, it's history. Yes, it's a history lesson. We're just educating ourselves in the same drama. So, no judging here. Nuxtaku, a prominent indie content creator known for his insightful commentary and comedic takes on anime and sometimes the VTuber world. <laughs> Vishojo and Nux had a long-standing history, with Nux regularly collaborating with Vishojo members such as Project Melody and playing a significant role in some of these creators' <laughs> early growth. Everything pointed to the fact Wait, that Nux Whoa. and Vishojo were on more than good terms. At least, publicly. But in October 2021, a series of events unfolded that would dramatically alter their relationship. Fake Vishojo emails were sent to two unaffiliated VTubers, including Nux, in an attempt to solicit personal data for potentially attempting doxing, attacking, and even swatting. Swatting is a severe problem. And swatting? Wait, did swatting also take place? Also thanks to the follow hope Why? And I was how? Hey yo. But was there also swatting? A historical moment like a bullet missing a, a tar. My legal team has told me not to finish the joke due to recent events. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Melly got swatted? I don't know. Boxing, attacking, and even swatting. Swatting is a severe problem, and it involves making a false police report to prompt an armed police response toward an unsuspected victim. This dangerous, highly illegal, and widespread hoax puts Swatting is at the... risk as even a single wrong move can result in fatal- It killed people before. It literally has killed people before. Yeah, even as we see it on here. Swatting? I don't understand how- Making false reports doesn't have any repercussions for the people. Like, holy shit. 
Mo many of them got sorted because they thought it was fun. Exactly. People just said, haha, funny, funny. It's just a prank. It does no good. Consequences. Moreover, swatting imposes substantial financial burdens on government, often costing hundreds Some guy of got jailed for 20 years. Nice. Not understandably concerned, reached out to be shown for clarification. The agency confirmed that they were aware of the incident and were actively investigating the matter. However, things took a dramatic turn when Nux, along with fellow content creator Murahar, uncovered the identity of the perpetrator. On November oh, 21st, 2020, they found the guy? Wow. One, a month later after his tweets, Nux released a video detailing his investigation and the methods used to catch the scammer. Muda Claiming the goat, his main yeah. goal would be to spread awareness about this fisher in the VTubing community and raise awareness so no other VTuber would fall prey to them. In this video, Nux details the situation in its entirety and provides a detailed explanation of his personal involvement in assisting the Unfortunately, many people who got swatted are still traumatized and recovery, while the majority of them is the free and consequence of free of consequences. That is so sad, man. That is so sad. This person was caught because he was bragging on Discord. What a fucking retard. Like legit genuine retard, man. Oh my god. Cybersecurity team of Ishojo in effectively neutralizing the threat. Nux outlines how he's received an email claiming he's been accepted into a Vishojo edition. Knowing he hadn't applied, he contacted Vishojo CEO Gunrun to warn him. Nux then, in a clever move, managed to bait the scammer by giving him a burner phone number, gaining some of their information before passing it Esmond on to Gunrun. Esmond got swatted? He texted me on the phone number that I- Esmond got swatted before? I never knew! What the fuck? Charlie, I heard of that he did, but wow. Their information before passing it on to Gunrun. He texted me on the phone number that I just got as a burner phone. It was pretty great. I'm very proud of myself. Patting myself on the back for the epic foresight. This camera. <laughs> Wait, that is actually so smart of him. Oh my god, actually so smart of him. Damn, this incident has affected Nuts a lot. He also lost a lot of friends. I see. ...himself was found bragging in a Discord server, and one of Nux is. fans, that who is. happened to be in that server, reported back to him and gave him proof of this as a video. This dude was flexing Actually, he got my real name and phone number, which he didn't, and he was posting it in his Discord servers, and one of the people in the Discord server that he was posting it was a fan of mine, reached out to me saying, oh my god, you got dogs, which he didn't, and uh, basically introduced me to someone that knows that guy personally. <laughs> he then went on to explain that this <laughs> Revenge! Gamer had already swatted several people and targeted at least 12 VTubers, including himself. Here she has a tweet saying, Oh my god, I'm so excited, my dreams are coming true, etc, etc. In other words, she just got an email saying that she was accepted into Vishojo. And then the next tweet right after that, here saying that the police are at my door, I don't know what's going on, I'm very scared. That oh. is when she actually got swatted by this asshole. One of the victims, no. indie VTuber Saki, unfortunately- Oh my god. Nux being Nux. <laughs> to be fair, Nux choked with this one as well as the We Children managers. From what I heard, yeah. From what I heard, they were wondering some both sides. Thank you so much for the follow. Guy on the floor. Why on the floor? Get up on a chair or a couch or a bed. It's more comfortable up here. Well, honestly, the floor is more comfortable than a chair, depending on the chair. Yeah, my chair is yeah, so pretty cool. Um. Either way, this this makes me so mad. Don't tell me at chat. Don't tell me. Don't spoil. Don't spoil the video. <laughs> don't spoil the history lesson for me. But I really hope this guy uh, got uh, repercussions for this. I really hope. Fortunately, fell prey like, to the scam, believing the email happened. to be real and Some providing punishment. her information, and got swatted. After Nux posted the video, yeah, no spoilers, no spoilers. official account even responded to it, thanking him for working with them and adding their own statement about the situation. This response gave the impression that Vishojo was aware of the scam and actively working with Nux to address it. But Nux's video, while seemingly well-intentioned, sparked a firestorm of controversy. Vishojo members expressed their disappointment and concern on Twitter, fearing that the public release of the video could compromise their safety and reveal information that could be used to harm them. From what I know, that the girls of Vishojo, like a bunch of girls, they jumped the gun by 
not knowing what management get like how I can't speak if management gave the okay to Nuxtaku or not. I feel like they jumped the gun from what I've seen there before. The situation escalated quickly, with v Shoujo members feeling betrayed and their trust in Nux shattered. The online community, fueled by the drama, began to dissect the situation, scrutinizing every detail and offering a wide range of opinions. This caused Twitter and the communities of all content creators involved to erupt in a backlash against Nux. At the time this happened, Nux first remained silent, probably trying to work something behind the scenes, but the general opinion here was that he was largely at fault. Nianers in a private message on her Discord server took a more critical stance, accusing Nux of taking credit for the work of Vishojo's cybersecurity team and exploiting we his friends for clickbait. The she also video. voiced concern about the video's Nianos content, videos. highlighting the potential dangers of sharing sensitive information without proper care. Though she kept this accusation within her own community and only into her supporters' channel, these were some of the most serious accusations levied against Nux during the entire event. Namely accusing him of cloud chasing and of recording a friend in a secret call to turn it into a video, as well as using her friend's face frequently for clickbaits. Being the internet, these well, of course bed got leaked bed. almost you gonna immediately, do? and the internet quickly disseminated Nianner's criticism, further fueling the conflict. Nianner's, who's been an internet personality going back a decade, I think, uh, she released uh, this Discord post specifically throwing Nux under the bus, saying that this? he was using them for clickbait, that it was all for clout, and that he completely jeopardized their safety. Now, I've gone through the entire video. He never mentions any of the VTubers aside from Saki, who seems to be pretty thankful for the video. Well, damn. Any VTuber that was a target of Little these guy, doxers. Dog. Wow. So the statement that he put them in danger. It's a little, little sketch. Look at me, chat. I'm having dinner with Doggo. It's dinner time. Yeah. <laughs> On November 24th, the indie VTuber Snuffy went to Twitter oh, detailing Snuffy. an incident she had with Nux back on her stream in March. She explained that she had received a donation from Nux Taku, daring her to respond to a self harm joke in exchange for further donations. Nux frequently creates videos fuck? in which he offers to donate a certain sum of money if VTubers do something outlandish. This particular instance Ayo? may have been one of those videos. However, Snuffy expressed her discomfort for being put on the spot on such sensitive topics. How long is this video? We'll donate 50 more if you have culture. What's the most iconic Japanese forest moment of all time and why? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's 45 minutes long. <laughs> my second most would be like, maybe like a Ghibli thing. But donate more if you say it and explain. Bro, it's obviously fucking Jake Paul, man. <laughs> Never stop wondering. Explain. Why are you threatening me? <laughs> I feel I feel like I'm being held at gunpoint. <laughs> like say it, spell it out loud, and explain. Kilometers. Oh, meters. No pressure or anything, but I'll do negative five thousand more bits if you say and explain why Logan Paul is a legend. <laughs> Nuts humor is kind of heavy. You either like it or hate it. It's rough. I see. You guys are stupid and edgy. Hey, you guys saw I laughed at it. I take no offense to this. This is why I stopped watching Nux. Really? I don't think... I personally don't think it's bad. Like, what Jake Paul did was fucking bad. Nux is making fun of Jake Paul in this... Uh, here, right here. In, in this sentiment, from what I see, so to me, this, this is nothing. This is this is stupid. This is just stupid joke. Let's just say that next three from Edge Lord to Dark Horny Humor. I see. Kilometer, one kilometer. No pressure or anything, but I'll donate 5,000 more bits if you say it. Explain while fucking Paul. 5,000 more bits? Um, how much is that? That's 50 bucks. It's a okay. legend. Oh my god. 
Make it 7,000 bits if you tell me your top 10 look at all <laughs> moments. I like it when he opened Pokemon cards. I liked his apology video. It was pretty cringe. I appreciate it. To which Vebe responded as well. No uh, what cringe. does this one say? Apology video was cultured answered. I'm satisfied. <laughs> I think this is fine. This is just edgy. It's fine. Mm -hmm. To which Vebe responded as well. That's absolutely fucked and appalling. Why? Like, this is this is just edgy? Bruh? Like, wh what? what? pretty cringe. People are so oversensitive, To which man. Vebe responded as well. Nux replied by showcasing DMs from a few months prior where he and Snuffy had apologized to each other, but then subsequently deleted this exchange. Making edge jokes is calling edging, which has 30 and 4 rules to follow. <laughs> to find out more, look up edging 30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wasn't like he was asking her to harm herself with someone else. Yeah, legit. Like, from how Rima said it at the start, it sounded like she was he was making jokes about someone harming themselves, but this isn't about... This up, oh, like this isn't about the suicide forest itself. Like obviously that is fucking bad and shit. But this is making fun of Jack Paul. Spot on such those videos. However, Snuffy expressed her discomfort for being. Let's go back a bit. I want to see what Rima said money exactly. If VTubers do something outlandish, this particular instance may have been one of those videos. However, Snuffy expressed her discomfort for being put on the spot on such sensitive topics. She never ex I'm sorry, but Snuffy never expressed her discomfort in right there. By getting those, she could have told him stop. She did not say stop. Why say it on Twitter though? Why why didn't she tell him to stop during? Like what? Topics. That's stupid. How long is this video? Like, sorry. Like literally she never told him to stop. Like, if she was feeling uncomfortable, tell him to stop. Simple. This is just adding to the fire. This is just adding fire to the flames. Feels like it, yeah. Hey, Moss mentioned that I made you uncomfortable with my memeing, and I apologize. I generally didn't intend it, and I'm sorry if I upset you. I'd really like an opportunity to clear the air between us, if you don't mind. I'm saddened by the current situation, and I think you're a cool person. Please let me know. That seems very mature of him. Hey man, I have no disrespect towards you. Can't hold a grudge or anything. I did think it was weird champ interaction between us initially, but whatever. I don't hate you though. Okay. It was fair, fair. He and Snuffy had apologized to each other, but then subsequently deleted this exchange. Despite Nux's apparent lack of social awareness in this situation, it serves to highlight the intense. I think it's the urge. To express your opinions when no one asks, some people see what can be clouded and chomped the gun. Maybe. She felt uncomfortable about the situation. She could have told him to stop at any time. That's what I'm saying. Like, bruh, you're a streamer, you're in control of your stream. Don't ever think otherwise. You are the one that's in control. You are the one who can just shut people down. Both are really civil. They're, they're where? They're where? Nuck's apparent lack of social awareness in this situation, it serves to highlight the intense emotional charge of the moment. Even VTubers who typically avoid controversial topics were swept up in the heat of the moment. Nux, after facing a barrage of criticism over the course of these three days, finally responded. First by privating okay. his video, and then by releasing a tweet longer explaining his perspective. Right. The announcement of the video privatization itself drew criticism from several v Shoujo talents who questioned the decision to keep the video up for longer than necessary. Mm -hmm. Nux. So I'm relieved you private the video. I'm still beyond spawning the girls back for days so to be removed out of fear. And it truly bothers my mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The announcement of the video privatization itself drew... This is really sickening to see. You've been taking advantage of people you claim to call friends for so long. Knowing full well how your actions would affect them. 
You were repeatedly asked to take the video down and to respect their safety. You didn't. What about everyone else's safety? We told you put other uh, people at risk by not announcing that this was happening. People were literally getting swatted and they didn't say jack shit about it. Criticism from several Bishojo talents who questioned the decision. I told you to take the video down after you posted it. You said everyone was on board with it. I'm finding out literally everyone told you to not post it. You caused more damage for and for what? Man, you lost friends and you took advantage of the situation. Like, you fucked up. I'm out. Wow. Basically, it's the ex V children members throwing him under the bus for mostly non issues. This is in Trias, and Trias is so with them. To keep the video up for long. And a mousey also uh, posted on this. Not surprising. Let's make a very false video about me when I was already getting a ton of hate over an issue that didn't even involve me. He didn't ask any questions. He just put it out there, calling me a talentless hack. And letting his fans harass me for over a year to this day, Jesus, what? Longer than necessary. Don't even know in who that is. Longer, Nox claimed that he had, in fact, discussed the matter with Bishojo representatives and the cybersecurity team for over four hours. And even one of the members of the Bishojo group who had approved his decision to release the video. He categorically denied that the Bishojo team had not requested for him to well, refrain from uploading the video. There because this statement was a direct contradiction to what the girls seemed to believe. I mean, the girls are not the management of V Jojo. Like, literally, the girls are not the management of V Jojo. They don't know what the management does. What I said from the start, I feel like the girls really jumped the gun. Not all of them, but some of those are, are not anymore. But I don't watch them much. There. I believe this brought even what more mentality. confusion Fair. to the situation. The following day, Nux shared another video on Twitter where Is he included receipts of conversations between him and a representative of Vishojo, where they discussed the video in question. The Vishojo team had requested several modifications for the video, which Nux complied with. He claims that no one from the team Ow! specifically asked him not to post this video, except for his brother, who was concerned for his safety. Interestingly, in the messages, Vishojo even thanked Nux for his efforts in raising awareness about a public issue and even what asked him to include their official what statement. They it's not worthy that the statement was crafted with the assumption that viewers had already- Like I said, I didn't hear any dogs and they just kept tweeting. Hmm. Oh, we had two foes at the same time, I'm so sorry. Hey, it's Asian. Thank you for the follow as well. Sorry. Bump you for YouTube show how to react. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Welcome in. Glad you're enjoying the videos. Base if someone was being truthful, it'd be more likely on so as well. If I don't anything about apologies and by extension appeals so or stuff, the longer it is, the less trustworthy it likely is as chances are high there's some hiding lying mixed in that is true like if you're gonna uh apologize for something to say sorry i fucked up i'm gonna move on from this i've learned from this out of story at work back to look okay thank you so much for the lurk i appreciate that uh moving on we watched a video I got swatted once in the past and it scarred me. People die in these situations and come close. Oh shit, he did get swatted before me. that already. When I to the attention of Vishojo, they told me that they knew this was going on for a while. Never said anything publicly and as a result of that, I felt like Vishojo put me in. That's really silent, isn't it? Oh, do I need to make this louder for you guys? Watched a video. I got swatted once in the past and it scarred me. People die in these situations and coming close to it happening again terrified me. When I brought this to the attention of V Shoujo, they told me that they knew this was going on for a while. Never said anything publicly and as a result of that, I felt like V Shoujo put me and others at risk. Before posting that video, I was in a group chat with the CEO of V Shoujo, one of the girls, and the head cybersecurity officer. V Shoujo acknowledged that they knew about this swatter for a long time and okay. did nothing publicly. I didn't Why? make the video to endanger anyone understand. as the culprits were already brought to light. They 
they acknowledge that they have no problem if I publish this video and it's entirely my right as a victim of this water. Nevertheless, I showed them the video before uploading so they could let me know if I should make any changes or ask me to potentially not upload at all. They asked for changes like blurring things and denying the culprit's notoriety and I complied. My brother was the only person that asked me not to post the video because he was afraid for my safety beefing with us water but I thought it was prudent for the safety of others in the community, and Vishojo mentioned that they appreciated me doing this public service announcement. When I mentioned that this video would be helpful to them as well, they thanked me and asked me if I can include an official statement from them and link in the description, which I did. The statement was written with the assumption that the viewers watched my video. They still refused to mention that someone was impersonating them, and they continued to thank me for working with them. Their official statement had the header, Thank you, Nux, for working with us. But it was deleted when some of the Vishojo girls got upset with my video uh, and claimed fuck? that I was repeatedly asked not to post it, which is untrue, as I showed you. Nux then oh, offers an apology what? for neglecting what? the talent's feelings and Take failing to swiftly remove the video. Furthermore, he expressed his regret for requesting a retraction of their statement as a condition for taking down the video. Additionally, this video provided an important piece of the missing puzzle, a censored screenshot of the group DN where the controversial video was being discussed. It revealed the presence of Gunrun, the CEO, a censored yeah. Bishojo member, is right the Bishojo representative female, Phoenix and Nagstaku. However, internet detectives were quick to corroborate this with a now redacted tweet from Fruit showcasing DMs between her and Nux. In these messages, Nux mentioned that Project Melody was the one that was part of the group DM and okay. was aware of the situation. This revelation raised eyebrows as it contradicted the girl's claims that Vishojo's cybersecurity team had advised Nux against releasing the video. Adding to the confusion, Project Melody had publicly criticized Nux for releasing the video. I'm hurt Nux posted his doxing video. He fl uh, flagrantly disregarded our team's feelings and the facts our security department shared with them. The fuck? Okay, no, that is just very contradictory. What? Huh? Like... They get this point? I don't know who is lying. Lying on the internet? Crazy. Like, at this point, I don't know who Stating is lying. He had disregarded their feelings and was prioritizing clicks. So what was the truth? Was this a colossal misunderstanding, an honest mistake, or something else? Vishojo then, in an attempt to shed light on the situation, released a blog post outlining their perspective, a the move they himself. stated that, unfortunately, required sharing private conversations to address the concerns. While acknowledging the seriousness of the allegations, Vishojo emphasized that issues of safety are not grounds for content, and that they do not condone harassment. They also stated they would be moving their investigation back to a private level to protect the safety of all parties involved. Vishojo first addressed the concerning allegations that they left indie VTubers in the dark and that they were still at risk of phishing attacks from the vishojo.org domain. They clarified that only two phishing attempts had been confirmed, one targeting Nux and the other targeting Saki, meaning other indie VTubers were not at risk. For now, or from what they know. To further address the concerns, Vishojo began by showcasing their initial DMs with Nux, highlighting the potential. And like yet again, Vishojo literally was throwing Indies under the bus by not, like, making a statement that someone is doing this, that someone is sending out fake. Um, accepting exception emails, that's the one. Like, that was still a bad part from the children back then. The harm of publicly releasing information that could hinder the investigation and compromise the case against the swatter. They then showcased the DMs but between Nux and the Vishojo representant Phoenix. What they could have done, like, what they could have done. Instead of saying, hey, this is going on, what they could have done is, please make sure that it is the right email. That it is the right email, that the right email address, you know? If you got accepted, you will only receive an email from this and this email address. They could have done that. Instead of saying, hey, there's a 
fucking swatter going around. There's a fucking nutcase going around, man. This is like what I remember last time. We told you managed incompetence. Their concerns being that this person was seeking notoriety and making an announcement of it would only bolster them. Vishojo maintained they never gave Nox permission to release the video, explaining they had limited time to suggest edits and create a statement. The most damning accusation, however, Vishojo was given limited time? That didn't seem like you were given limited time. It feels like, like from the DMs we've seen, it very much looked like they were just like, yeah, could you do this? Okay, cool, thanks. Apart from that, yeah, okay, that's fine, bye. You know, that's what it seemed like. It was that Nux ignored their suggestion for edits, which could explain the concern voiced by other VTubers and even Melody. The line, okay. staff's context, there is a negative history of interaction between V Shoujo and Nux that led us to proceed with extreme caution. That Hints didn't at really past look like issues that caution. fueled V Shoujo's cautious approach and perhaps more tension than we thought so behind the scenes. Is it simply the same accusations Nianers mentioned about the secret voice call recording or something else like Bay mentions in this screenshot? That is one of the few mysteries that remain from this whole arc to this day. Vishojo then unveiled the full context of the screenshots Nux presented in his oh, video. Shit. Now I gotta be fair to all parties here and give this point to Vishojo. It seems that the cybersecurity expert did in fact inform Nux that his investigation contained misinformation. This revelation shed light on a key point Nux made in his video. This really looks like someone in management had beef with Nux and used the situation to get rid of him while using the girls as fodder for backlash. Really? I don't know about that. I'm not getting that vibe from here, personally. Makes no sense. It looked like he wasn't going to post it until they were satisfied with the changes. Exactly! Like, he said, yo, are you okay with this, like, being this way? Yeah, this is fine. Okay. You know, this is just really weird. He claimed the doctor bragged about obtaining his information and that one of his fans conveniently in the same Discord server alerted him. However, Vishojo's release DMs revealed that this fan was likely working with the doxer. Phoenix, the Vishojo representative, explicitly stated, My comment is specifically about praising that one fan that reached out. I am 99% certain that is a fellow member of the harassment gang and not a fan. Giving them praise will make them focus more on harassing the VTuber community because they think they can manipulate people like this. The concern is that they fed you fake info after showing you the genuine video and confession slash brag. He went on to explain their strategy. Their MO is to do this good cop, bad cop thing and this random fan does something uh -huh. to establish credibility and then uses that credibility to feed disinformation to the target. This means Nux was likely given false information by the doxer's accomplice, oh. potentially skewing his understanding of the situation. When Nux defended his decision to release the video, stating that it was irrelevant whether he was misinformed or not, Vishojo conceded, agreeing that his experience as a victim is absolutely valid. They also go on to say that their polite tone in their response to Nux was a result of treating him as a media professional. But to be fair to Nux and to Vishojo, Shoujo's own admittance, the wording on that wasn't firm enough or even clear enough. They claimed they wanted to give strong warnings, but in a nice way. But do you thank someone and even tell them you appreciate it after they did something you didn't want them to do? Yeah, like, this is... This feels like a PR disaster, man. As for no I got no idea what's going on. Idea who's doing what or what's going on. Legit, this seems like such a PR disaster. Like, what the hell? Us. It is Was really he just a mess, little yeah. too eager to release this video. Sure. Did his excitement to share an interesting story blindside him? Perhaps. After all, he had been working on the video for a month and he might have gotten a little overzealous, a little too content brained about showing off the fruits of his labor. And V Shoujo turned out to be correct in claiming the information was wrong. Even though Nux claimed he had put the swatter behind bars, several videos by the alleged swatter himself were made taunting Nux Taku just a few days after the incident oh. and showcasing how he had in fact tricked Nux. Wait, wait, what? 
What? Several videos by the alleged swatter himself were made taunting Nuxtaku just a few days after the incident and showcasing how he had what in fact piece tricked of Nux. Shit. To all the kids in my comment sections threatening me like, you're gonna get what you deserve, Nuxtaku didn't deserve any of this, like, nothing even happened to him first of all, and I didn't do anything to him. Um, he made up the story just to get views on YouTube, so <laughs> I want to see you guys do something. Like, you guys are literally fucking harmless. If you're gonna threaten me, at least, like, keep your word and go through with it. I don't know, it's just a laughing matter because it's literally so funny. Are you guys gonna do something to me or not? It's been two days and <laughs> I don't think anything's gonna happen to me. <laughs> Piece of shit, man. Fucking harmless vet, I guess. Actually, mentally right. ill. Hey guys. It is unclear. What a mentally ill person. I like the bad kind of mentally ill. The bad, bad kind. Like, holy shit. What the fuck? Of course, the doctor sounds like an edge lord. Yeah, of course. They all think they're so funny and they're above everyone else. What the fuck was that enemy villain of? Like, legit. Like, holy shit, actual retard moment. ...whether or not this person is really who he claims he is, but it's fairly certain the video of the Discord call was wrong, along with several other information. In this case, Nux releasing the video would only serve as a warning to the real doxer that an investigation is going on. That could explain the talent's fear of seeing this video go live. But does any of this information relate to the backlash he received on Twitter from the Vishojo girls? Not necessarily. I think everyone can agree that it should have been handled privately. And yep. I believe that yep. stems more from a lack of communication between Vishojo management and the girls, or even between Vishojo talents and Nox himself. After all, a vi To me, it feels like the girls really jumped the gun. I've said this like 10 times now, but yeah. My loot literally used robots, Roblox footage. Legit mentally ill. Like, that guy is just mentally ill, man. Brain absent move, actually. A video like this shouldn't have come as a surprise to anyone, especially not if you're friends or even acquainted. On November 29th, Nux published a video titled Moving Forward. In the All video, right. Nux discusses how the situation had caused Yo, him significant anxiety and that his primary objective was now to de-escalate the conflict. This meant that no additional receipts would be shown and he would cease discussing the situation altogether, putting okay. it behind him. Ultimately, all, right. all parties involved issued apologies. Iron Mouse's and Zentria's apologies particularly stood out and were praised by the community for their transparency and accountability. Zentria posted a tweet longer apologizing for getting- People are upset at the moment. I'd like to apologize for how this went down. Communities got involved confused at each other's throat. I made a tweet that riled people up. I wish no ill upon Nox either. Apologies have been made behind the scenes, and I hope we can move forward from all this and learn and reflect. More importantly, I will reflect. My community, I'm sorry I put you in an awkward position. I will never do so again. I never try to get involved in things like this, but they are my friends and I love them. Was it right to jump in? I felt and saw my friends being harassed by members of a community, community so yes, I had to. Thanks for the follow! The writing gamer, thank you so much. Making tweets that riled up everyone due to her seeing her friends being harassed by members of the community and felt like she had to defend them. She then went one step further and posted a second public apology under his recent video stating, I would personally, since I fucked up publicly, feel the need to apologize publicly to you from my part in this and inciting people as well during this situation. As you stated, I do not condone hate mobs at all and wish to move forward on peaceful terms. I am sorry. And that apology mm -hmm. is still up to this day. Same with Iron Mouses, who in a heartfelt statement rage. apologized for her public outbursts, acknowledging the potential for unintended consequences when sharing personal feelings online. She expressed regret for any discomfort caused and pledged to focus on resolving future conflicts privately. She also extended a sincere apology to Nux, emphasizing that she harbored no ill will toward him. In a subsequent stream, she further elaborated on the situation, clarifying that they were not informed by management about their conversation with Nux prior to the video release. She expressed that she won't- I mean, does management need to um, let their talents know on what- mm Sorry, my tracking got lost there. Like, I don't feel like the management 
has a um, obligation to inform their talents on what is being managed behind the teams. That's not what the management is for. That is the management's business and not the talent's business. Um, so this... Not to say that the management was doing a good job at anything either. Depends on if it involves talents. I guess so. Yeah, I guess so to a certain degree, yes. To a certain degree, yeah, I guess. Management should have given a directive to the talents. The girls, instead of taking it to Twitter, could have also asked management. But instead, instead they took it to Twitter instantly. Then they should have let management issue statements. Yeah. I'm stupid, what's going on? It's uh, a history lesson on the Nox Taco vs. Vinchojo saga. Vinchojo was more of a lace fair back then. And now, as in letting talent stream and do stuff on their own while they handle private issues with logistic permissions. I see. I see, I see, I see. Management should have told them to shut the fuck up, law. Yes. <laughs> yes. The entire streaming world needs... Uh, basic IT security and recourse when onboarding. It does seem like that. You expect such rash de decisions from individuals, but not these behind an agency like the chosen. Yeah, as they're supposed to be higher professionalism and PR. Exactly, exactly. But in the end, that was still why they were all still starting out somewhat. It was still the early days <laughs> and weeks and months of VTubing. So VTubing still wasn't that old. So, you know, uh, Mastix, Diggy, and Delta, thank you too for the follow. Welcome, in. <laughs> welcome, welcome. This whole situation is like a chain reaction of bad choices of actions. Yeah, definitely. I'll delete her tweet, explaining that it serves as a reminder to avoid making hasty conclusions in the future. This incident highlights an important lesson. Mistakes are common, but the ability to learn from them distinguishes negative experiences from positive ones. After all, the only way to avoid mistakes is to gain experience, and the only way to gain experience Yay! is to make mistakes. Nianus put out two tweets as well, apologizing publicly and providing further clarifications, but failing to name Nux by name, which brought on some criticism. Vey and Fruit also issued their own apologies. As for Project Melody, she only put out a tweet affirming her support for her group, which was a bit lackluster considering the big question mark that remained on her involvement with the Legit, situation. Legit, like what? And even though all parties what apologized and the air was supposed to be cleared, their collapse almost came to a standstill, with the exception of a few rare ones. While understandable, the hasty attempts to move past the incident left several questions unanswered, fueling further speculation, debate and frustration among the community. To this day, this is a conversation that keeps coming back up even three years later. This, in fact, has been my most requested uh, video ever. Yeah, so thank yeah. you for waiting so long for me to make this video. Due to thank its sensitive nature, it. I wanted to make sure I could make this video in the most neutral and respectable manner I could while providing due diligence to all parties involved, as well as my audience, like I always do. Want more chaotic VTuber deep dives? Subscribe with notifications on, leave a like, leave a comment, and for daily uploads, check out my second channel, and for exclusive content, join my Patreon. Big things are coming, including my one-year anniversary and a 2.0 redebut. See you next time. <gasps> she's getting a 2.0! Yo! She's finally getting a new model! Hey! I'm so happy for her! Let's go! She explained that she had been receiving a donation. She explained that she had received a donation from Nuxtaku. They Darren. also stated they would be moving their investigate. They also stated they would be moving their investigate. Why can't I say that word? <laughs> they also stated they would be moving their investigation back to a private level. I love bloopers. In a subsequent. In a subsequent. <sighs> I can't say that word ever, and I use it so often. In a subsequent stream, she subsequent. further elaborated- Subsequent, right? Is that how you say it? Subsequent? Subsequent? I, th I think so. Uh, say anything else to you? A cute squad. Okay. When your anniversary, let's celebrate together. Uh, is her 2.0 out already? 
Um, let's close the video for now so we can have a, a finish for the YouTube. Thanks for watching on YouTube! Uh, shall I do the cringy YouTube thing? Like, subscribe, and hit the bell button! <laughs> uh. Bye, YouTube! Bye, YouTube! Bye! <laughs> Bye, YouTube! <laughs> subscribe! <laughs>